first warning weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Nice weekend to do some apple picking. Yeah, you get some organic goodies at the farm there. Just perfect weather for it. Such yes. above average temperature. Speaking of, of above average temperatures, we have not hit a freeze yet here at the Burlington International Airport. We have the lowest temperature so far this fall has been 33 degrees. Now, the average first day below 32 is October 5th. The latest freeze on record, October 26, 2018. I do think we are going to beat that because we're expecting such mild temperatures over the next week or so. Don't think we'll get to 32 degrees quite then. Right now, temperature is well into the 60s right now for most of the Champlain Valley. 65 in Burlington. It's 59 in Plattsburgh, 59 in St. J, 60 in Springfield, still 67 in Messina. We got clear skies across the region now, but you look off to the south and you see this low pressure system developing. It's streaming off to the north slowly, bringing some cloud cover to uh, the mid-Atlantic coast. That's going to continue to move north, so we're expecting it to track somewhere off the New England coast. So we will have increasing clouds tomorrow, but it does remain warm. Temperatures near 70 degrees once again. Showers are likely, though, especially in southern and eastern Vermont and New Hampshire late Sunday into Monday. Could stay totally dry in parts of northern New York and the northern Champlain Valley. We'll get to the track on that in just a second, but staying warm through Wednesday, even after the system moves by, we're near 70 through the middle of next week. So future cast overnight shows the high clouds starting to make their way into the region from the south. Uh, so it could be a very nice sunrise tomorrow morning. Some of those high, thin clouds scattering that red and orange light really nicely. And then as we get to Sunday evening, the clouds do continue to increase and thicken up, but there's still kind of a question on the exact track of this low pressure system. It should at least bring some showers to the upper valley and north into the northeast kingdom, but it does look like we'll be battling some dry air off to the west, so you can see how even into Monday morning that dry air is eating away that western edge of the precipitation. So again, still up in the air exactly how far north and west this rain shield makes it, but I'd say anywhere southeast of the Champlain Valley has the best shot at rain with some breaks of sun possible over northern New York. Now as far as tonight goes, not expecting any precipitation, just a few passing high clouds out there. Temperatures down into the low 40s for the Champlain Valley, though 30s are likely once again in uh, the Connecticut River Valley as well as the Adirondacks. So it will be another chilly night with winds relaxing a little bit. That's the one thing you'll notice about tomorrow is much lighter wind than today. You'll have increasing clouds in the afternoon, but still a beautiful day. Upper 60s to near 70 across the Champlain Valley. Certainly could touch 70 in a few locations as well in northern New York. I think it's a mostly sunny day, in fact, for the St. Lawrence Valley tomorrow before those clouds really start to get in. You'll notice cooler readings as you head down the road to the upper valley tomorrow and that's just because we'll get the thicker clouds in the picture a little bit earlier than in the northern area 62 the high in Springfield 60 in Ludlow 61 in Rockingham and 59 in Stratton so Monday there's your possible showers not looking at any impact weather because they probably won't be very heavy if they do fall drying out later Monday into Tuesday and look at that Tuesday and Wednesday both could be near 70 degrees before we get some more wet weather in later Wednesday into Thursday. That would be in the form of a cold front and knock us back down into the 50s for highs, but that's still right around average for this time of year. And even those nighttime lows getting into the uh, mid 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. So certainly some open window weather this late in the season, even at night. Jack Liss.